Well, would you look at this? Neomorphosis infestation is finally here. This is huge. This has been <laughs> a long time coming. I don't remember the, when I backed this game quite a while ago, but I'm excited to kill some aliens and repair some walls and junk. So let's get to it. All right, I got all the boxes with the wrap off just now. Uh, off camera and I noticed something. I didn't realize that this box oh, This is on the bottom crap. Okay, hold on hold please uh, And this box are different. <laughs> this is a legit box. This is not this is a tux box a tuck box where you tuck this in and then destroy the box when you open it This is garbage. This is actually still pretty cool So this is like the cardboard box you used to get like from Kickstarters, right? Like back in the day, but made it a little bit pretty. This is the spawn of Satan when it comes to packaging and something I never want to receive ever again. Um, but I continue to receive them because board game developers love this. It's essentially like wrapping in a paper. It's awesome. Terrible for the consumer, cheap for the maker. And it's not, I mean, every company like seems to do this. And I, uh, uh, uh. anyway, you guys know my hate for tuck boxes. Let's, I, I think. Did I get the all-in? You guys let me know. It's been so long. I don't remember. Is this the all-in? I mean, I, I really wanted this game. This game looks super cool. Those are all expansions. Lord knows I need that much of a single game. Oh, this is what we're... Get, get out of that camera angle. All right. Neomorphs of Infestation. You can tell this is the main box because it is heavier than the other ones. Though, not, not that heavy, right? It's like a legit normal box. Um, very linen finish on the outside. Uh... Fairly shiny, but but also fairly matte. Like this is a, definitely not as shiny as some linen finishes. I appreciate that. It's definitely more textured. I feel it feels to me actually, even with this linen finish, a little retail. Uh, just like the the box itself doesn't seem like. See, I can even kind of push in here. I, I feel like the cardboard itself probably isn't the uh, the the bestest in the world. So let's go ahead and take a look at the back of it. On the back you have this very obvious render of the game and then a little blurb there and that's pretty much it. Um, I've seen this a lot. I don't I don't understand. You, what, why is this here? <laughs> I don't know but that, that, that's what's there. It's by Dark Gate Games. They are an indie developer that had really bad communication now seems to be a little bit better uh, so that's nice and they're making games. This is actually delivered. I appreciate that as well. They made Dark Rituals which is kind of like a cult classic. I wish I gave that game more time of day because it was actually super cool. It's like the Witcher meets like I, I don't know a, a fun one versus many. It was kind of cool. Um, yeah, cardboard is it's okay. It's fine. I mean, uh, you know, at this point, I've had so many premium quality products. It, it whenever I see something that's normal and acceptable and fine, I'm like, eh, which is unfair to them. I got a little pointy thing here. All I want to point out is that the glue job all around it looks perfect. In fact, every you hear that super linen. Um, everything's pretty much lined up. Tiny misalignment there. Teeny, teeny, tiny. Looks great. Um, very actually good uh, glue job on the wrap on the outside. Okay, and we're met with more linen. That's why it was still making that sound because this is linen as well. This looks like their first board. It is not dual layer. However, it does look like it has holes all the way through it to put your little little tokens or whatever in there. This is like a a threat meter or some something like that. Essentially, in this game, from what I remember, again, it has been years. So correct me if I'm wrong. You're essentially uh, sent to like keep this. I don't know if you're sent or you're still there. Either way, there's like this research facility or some junk like that, some outpost that essentially is being invaded by aliens and they're destroying the place. So you have to both deal with the aliens and keep the place from like blowing up and collapsing and stuff like that. Nothing on the back though. It is nice and black, so I appreciate that. On here, um, I don't notice any warp or anything like that. It's certainly not the uh, the uh, sturdiest of materials it is pretty bendy but that's kind of typical for something this large anyway unless it's super like compressed this is actually fine i do notice a little bit see right here let me go ahead and zoom in on that it's teeny tiny you know what i'll just hold it up closer how about that how about that as you can see right here a little bit of like playing back and in fact if i do that you probably yeah so you're gonna see a little bit of 
a little bit of black, but not too bad, or a little bit of white, sorry. What I'm showing there is essentially how wear and tear will look on this. As you play this, as you love it and enjoy it, because it's so awesome, um, it will start to show some wear and tear. Uh, some show it a lot worse, some show it a lot better. That one's not too bad. Overall, I can read everything in here, so that's good. Even like, the you know, this is darker, and yet they still used black, but I can still read that fine. I think that contrast is okay. Seems okay to me, so we've got quite a few reminders and stuff like that, which is nice. Good game piece. Over here, we've got a rule book, front and center. Oh, ooh, fairly meaty rule book, actually. I wonder if there's scenarios and stuff in here. On the back, it looks like we have a little helper, a little round summary. I like the shape of the rule book. I don't like the long floppy ones. You guys know how that is, I'm sure. Um, <laughs> uh, seriously, uh, it, this doesn't take up too much table space, I feel. This is pretty standard, and it's really easy to hold the spine and kind of take one page and control it and not have everything else you know, flopping around everywhere, so that's pretty good. So yeah, that's nice to have. Now on the back, it looks like we have missions, not an index. I'm looking for an index because this is a technical document. And so at the end of the day, what I really wanna be able to do is use this as a working book that I can like look up and reference some of that. Do you have a token legend in the back of this? I actually would have preferred this to be separated from the rule book and towards the back just for easy open up, right? I have it here, boom, pull one, boom, there's there's icons. Or even put it in here, I feel like there's probably some room in here to do that. And in fact, while I appreciate having a big scene like that, like that's cool, um, it would have been easier to read if this hadn't had such light and dark behind it. I find it okay to read, but just saying like, you know, it, let, let's make usable over pretty, I feel. All right, let's see what else we got here. Do we have an index? No index! You know, I got on them for Dark Rituals and I have an index and they didn't listen to me. I bet they didn't watch my video. Seriously though, we do need an index. I'm gonna check the front, there might be one in there. And if not, I'll I'll explain that. For any new viewers here, welcome, of course. Uh, I love indexes to an unhealthy degree. So we have a table of contents and no index. Okay, so. Table of contents is cool, I guess, right? If you need like a super high level thing. Honestly, I have rarely only used these. In fact, I've never used these if I have an index. If I don't have an index, I'm grasping to try and find something. This will list the headers exactly and the single page that that header appears on. What it won't do is list uh, ex expressions or, uh, you know, little rule things or the name of something specifically, unless it happens to be a header. And if it's mentioned in multiple pages, you'll never see that. You'll only see the header, right? It's not an alphabetical order, so you can't look it up that way. An index is alphabetized A through Z, and then it lists core concepts, all sorts of stuff. Anything that you might need to look up with a list of page, page numbers for every page that is on. So if it's an attack example, page 13, and then defined later on page 19, it'll list both. So so by the time you're done reading both those pages, you know you've read everything there is to know about the rule. There's no exception where, oh, well, it turns out if you're in water, then you can't do this or you're hindered, even though it didn't mean, you know what I'm saying? Like, it just helps. It's very nice. And this should have an index, especially at like, what? I mean, even before the missions, 34 pages. Yeah, that would be nice to have an index. I do like the background here. So in Dark Rituals, they actually used kind of a blurry background um, that it, it was thematic. It was kind of cool, but also like not. Um, this is because it wasn't the highest quality. This is a much higher quality image. I like that. I like the black on the, uh, only slightly off white there. I think that looks good. And I like even how the shape of the images have that too. That's super cool. What I think they messed up on slightly or it could have improved is the font type used is very kind of thin straight line. It's about as thick as the hexes. Now it's a little bit darker and obviously it's not hex shaped, but it does make it a little bit harder to read. I feel the bold, I think it's fine because it's thicker, which is kind of nice, but this kind of like straight line esque kind of uh, skinny font, I think fits a little too much into the hex background to make it as easily read as possible, right? I mean, this, this I probably looked cool on a computer, but I think when I actually kind of read this, this is a little more difficult than I would like. I can redefine, but I feel I'm gonna have a little bit of eye strain, uh, both just from the font type in general, even if it was on plain white, and put that on top of a hex uh, grid of the same you know thickness, and it, it, it is a bit rough. I like the game components. I like them listing the game components, uh, showing them, showing the amount and showing the name. I, I, I want all three of those things, so that's good. Um, then we have, it looks like though, what's kind of weird is like game components and player components are like separated and all that. Um, this makes it a little bit 
harder. I'm, I'm, I'm thinking this is still this stuff over here. It looks like it is. Yeah, okay, it is. It's just breaking it down and putting that here. That's cool then. I, I dig that. Yeah, let's, let's do that. Why some of these are, are bold and some aren't? I, I, like, is this a sub thing? Because it's just 1 through 17. It's not like a 1A, you know, so... Uh, I'm I, I'm not sure exactly what that, I think it's grouping it, but it's a little little odd, a little different. I don't know if they have a technical writer or not. I feel like when I say technical writer, I just said something that no game developer has. It seems, but uh, they can do wonders on stuff like this. Like they're really good at making sure they do that. I do like the call out boxes. So it looks like the call out boxes are different things. It, it looks like matches the fro okay so it looks like they're it's all lore that's kind of a weird thing to do for call out boxes normally oh oh no see okay so here's a call out box that's just giving uh lore and now here's a call out box that now has a note and is an important rule thing this is what i'm talking about where technical writers know this stuff right i i i just pretend to know what i'm talking about because i sat next to a technical writer for five years but <laughs> so i picked up a thing or two but only a thing or two that guy's a genius and i think all technical writers are worth their weight in gold um even if they're skinny uh they're, they're <laughs> i mean <laughs> that's a stupid reference but seriously like they are worth the money um this is teaching me skip this, right? So I've read this now. And I'm like, oh, this is useless. I don't need this to learn the game. Oh, look, there's another one. Okay, skip it. Go on. Nope. This is noting a very specific game rule that's important. That's what a normal callout box is. Using a callout box for lore, not cool. That is like the opposite of what you do. This is popping out of the there. This is a important note, not lore crap. And, and again, the faded... Uh, table again kind of blends in um, hopefully it reads well it looks like they have nice images uh, you know different examples and stuff like that uh, all of that's great here's lore again sure why not um, more lore here let's say most of it is except for one time when it's a note um, <laughs> so you can normally ignore that except when you can't yeah this is I I, I, I do wish that was better. Oh, look, we got some blurry <laughs> pictures here. So here we have the digital asset actually used. And here we have what looks to be a picture of a digital asset, like in Tabletop Simulator or something. So it's a little bit blurrier, uh, which is kind of funny. That's the only example that I see offhand, which is nice. And again, I do appreciate all the examples and stuff. It looks like it probably does a good enough job teaching. A lot of wasted space on this. That's kind of interesting, I suppose. Okay, well, anyway, that's that. Moving on. I'm sure you guys are tired of hearing me yell about rule books. Dear Lord. Okay, next up, we got some tokens. They are wrapped to all be one thing. It's just three tokens, though, so not too bad. But it is appreciated uh, when they're wrapped because it means that I probably got all of the ones I need. Because when they're not, they can, you know, at that point, it's people in the factory working super fast on a whole bunch of things. And, you know, every now and then they, they grab two instead of three, and now I'm missing you know, half my tokens or whatever. I've never had that happen, but I've seen it happen before. And invariably that tends to happen when it's not wrapped like this. Okay, that being said, it was wrapped pretty tight and this does seem a little bent, but the tray can be bent without the tokens being bent. So we'll check that out. It looks like we got really easy punch outs, uh, some f kind of big tags on the very outside, but otherwise not too bad. Here, I'm gonna zoom in for that. I'll zoom in, hold on guys. Okay, there you are. So, uh, as you can, well, get the red out of the way. As you can see, <laughs> uh, fairly big tags on the outside, but the inside have just like a small one, which is kind of nice, but punched out pretty okay. I'm always paranoid when I see stuff like this in a board game that I need the middle part for some reason. So I'm like, oh no, I need that. Um, and But I still throw them away and just, just cringe wondering if, if perhaps I shouldn't have. <laughs> That's, I don't know if, am I the only weird one with that? So they do have what seems to be purposeful kind of big tags to kind of keep them in there. Um, so they're not, because otherwise it's just one tag, right? But it is definitely keeping on it. Let's go ahead and flip it over. Try to punch it off from the other side. Yeah, it still just hangs on pretty darn well. Okay, let's look at thickness. Well, let's get a bigger one to look at thickness than that. Get in, get in there. Okay, there's that. Um, let's see, let's just use this. Okay, so thickness wise, yeah, I mean, it's not too bad. You can see the layer lines, I feel, pretty easily there. I think that's definitely uh, present. That tag obvious, right, of course. Um, and a slightly squishy, honestly, not too squishy. It is fairly compact, uh, even with those layer lines. I'm kind of surprised. I've had far squishier. 
uh, being centered. Uh, I don't know. What do you think? I feel that's pretty darn close. I want to say it's lower left faced. I want to say there's more space over here. I really do. I feel like up here and up here, especially on this side, has a little bit extra space than that. I think that's slightly off. Now, again, that's, of course, very nitpicky. Um, however, oh, yeah, see, this is, okay. So I've talked about this before, right? Um, when it comes to when you punch these, because sometimes they won't get in there. Oh, it's not going to get in there. The tags are too big. So, like, if it doesn't line up, the tags are going to get in the way. Okay, not going back in. When you do this, you see all this spill out? That's cool. However, what they should have done is have the image spill out, not this color. Because the color will just fill it in, you know, regardless of if it's centered or not. So if we take a look at this one, for instance, you can see how that is not centered now, right? If this had just been black all the way around, in other words, if it didn't have this, like, rim on the outside of it, this purple rim, it, it, it'd be harder to tell if it was centered or not. Um, like like I did with that when it was dark, and uh, I could just see that the hex ended on one of them. But here, I, with the the highlight, the ring around it, you can tell if there's any kind of offset. And obviously, this is upper left here, right? There's a lot more space here than there is there, and you can tell that pretty quickly. So that's kind of a that, that's why they overfill it. But at the same time, um, it, it it doesn't work if if there's like a ring. It almost looks to me like that's not supposed to be a perfect circle. There is a little bit of oddity like around the the space here. See how like this isn't a perfect circle? So it almost makes it okay that there's like more random tan peach, whatever color, that's not peach, it's not yellow enough, whatever this color is, skin colored. Uh, <laughs> it, it, but, but then like here you can tell, yeah, that's, that's, there's more space on the right than the left, right? On like all of these. So it, not the best print job. This almost looks lined up though, except when you see that there's a lot less on here than on here on the off side, right? So, um, otherwise though, token wise, this is where it's bent, right? So let's go on and grab two of these from opposite. Uh, let's do one in the middle. Let's do this one just in case. All right. So we're going to. See, like, I don't think that's really bent. I think for the most, yeah, see, so that there's going to be some that you see there because it presses in, right? So that's why it's curved and then flat. Um, but while the tray is bent, I don't think any of these tokens are big enough to really have been affected by it. So that's good. That's really good. Uh, let's see, commenting other than that, I think some things are really easy to see like this because of the bright blue and yellow on the dark background, but this is fairly dark on the dark background, and it's it's kind of hard to see, especially even this stuff, right? Like, that's still a fairly light blue, um, and I have a lot of light pump pumping at this. Uh, playing a normal board game without a whole bunch of light uh, could prove a little difficult in that. That is pretty dark. Uh, I prefer them to be a little bit lighter, but that's enough about tokens. Let's move on. Okay, so obviously now are a whole bunch of minis, but let's go and take this trait out. Okay. Uh, yep, see, and so there's a little bit more there. So we're going to wait on the minis. Calm down, guys. Um, and look at this. Hello? So, uh, there's looks like there is a spot right here on the side, so that's nice. Let me zoom out a little bit so you can see the whole box here. Uh, to be able to get this out, which is appreciated. So there are spots top and bottom. That being said, that lock on the lid looks like... Oh, it's taped. Oh, boy. Guys, come on. You don't... You, Come on. Come on, really? So when you unbox a game, it's your first experience with this game. So my first experience with this is slightly frustrated at tape. <laughs> uh, I don't think there's anything underneath. There's not hanging to do sometimes. Okay, you'll see a little bit of a nick there. Not too bad though. Maybe you won't see that at all on the camera. I don't know. I see it. Um, and that can happen from from movement on these edges. I can get a little big. Uh, tray, fairly thick. Not the thickest but not bad either. I like that it's black. I appreciate that. It looks like even these are wrapped. It's kind of interesting. They just want me to open more and more, it seems. Okay. You know, let me go ahead and I'm going to open these. I'm going to open these. It looks like they are not easy open, so I'll have to cut them. So I'll do that. And uh, I'll even open these. These do look easy open right here. So that's what I'll do, and then we'll, we'll cut right back. All right, we are back. Let's go ahead and take a look at this. So right now, I'll say, let's go and start with the cards because I wanted to point this out. Again, having these 
places all the way down to be able to grab cards, super nice. Now for sleeved, this is obviously not enough for sleeved. Sleeve would, you know, double the height and there's definitely not double the, the space here. So while it does have some room, some play, you know, forward and back and side to side, I don't think the height would work even for something like penny sleeves. This is not going to happen. Okay, so we got um, some fun warning cards, apparently. Let's zoom in a little bit on this. A little bit more. There we go. Okay. So, looks like we have, it looks like this is probably the back of stuff. Maybe, I don't know. It's kind of iffy. So, we got these here, and these look like boss cards or something like that. Um, See, so we have like uh, Dr. Blair moves up to one area to damage a closed door. Then Dr. Blair moves up to two areas to attack a crew member because she hates doors. And on this side, it looks like you have the different, uh, the image of the boss. It looks like each one has three. So that's kind of, I guess, how maybe bosses work or whatever. Looks like we got a lot of equipment here. So on the back, it looks like, uh, okay, well, okay. Oh, oh, I think it's like damage versus not. Yeah, so you have a small med kit, I guess, that you can craft, looks like, a research, and then that you can actually use, maybe, because this has a plus two and this has nothing but an image, something like that. I, I'm trying to remember. I, I think you, like, cobble together stuff. Either way, there's a small med kit here, and then, oh, and I remember the color, I think, matches or matters here, too. So you have that. You have a stim pack, which is different than a med kit. Of course, even though they do the same thing, but, you know, whatever. Um, okay, then you have purple pills. Uh, if you want to take red, you want to take blue, I'll take purple, of course. So yeah, why not? Why not? Yeah, and see, even here, the, the number here, seven versus eight, a little bit different there. Kind of interesting. Purple pills, death shot. Okay, sure. Uh, acid bomb, med kits. Not, not a small med kit, but not a large one either. A nail gun. Robotic arm, nail blaster, max shield. ATX, taser, robotic leg, exoskeleton, and the MB-28. That's what we got here. Uh, looking at this, I really like the how this is how the UI here. Almost like a little... It, looks, it reminds me of like video games, right? Where like you're hovering over your gun and you get to see all the different parts and what they do. So I kind of dig that. I think that's pretty cool. Um, and then on the back, seeing in like pieces like that, also kind of neat. I kind of dig that as well. So yeah, I mean, I think I think these look pretty good. Again, it's all dark. Uh, I think that's kind of a theme they're perhaps going for. Um, except that um, I I feel like not everything is like, like these cards are obviously, but I, I feel like there's other parts that are actually quite bright uh, in in the art style here. Okay, so then here looks like we have different uh, this like card deck where bad things happen, right? So you have all these different things that could. Engine failure, cameras offline, connectivity error, power drain, energy drop, right? So different things that can happen there. Now it looks like here we have more items. Okay. Okay. So yeah, here we got, it looks like different items. So in this one, uh, and it's all like not stuff you craft. It's like you loot or whatever. So you get USB keys and flash cards, of course, instruction pad, life support gear. Some of these seem more... Ex uh, per useful than others. For instance, there's useless stuff like Crypto Key, um, and then more useful stuff like Shield, and Energy Drink, always important. Heal yourself up with that Energy Drink. Helmet, Night Vision, Pocket Knife, and like tools, stuff like that. Those are your uh, whoop, items by the looks of it. Now it looks like here we have different kind of abilities or something like that by the looks of it. Um, just say, you know, different things you can do. That's kind of cool. There seems to be quite a few of these. Again, I, I can actually read that pretty well. I think that's pretty cool and in theme. Though, again, this is pretty dark. Like, it would have been nice to see the uh, background a little bit more. And here we have sector breaches, which do not look good. Like, none of this looks good. <laughs> and that's it for the small cards in the core box. Not too shabby. We've got some bigger cards here. So it looks like you go in from the, the top down instead of side. Okay, we got... Uh, four different uh, help cards. Oh, no, no, no. Hold on, we got probably four of these, too. I don't know if... Okay. No, there's a... Okay. <laughs> All right. Well, that's a separate thing. Let's get those setups there. Okay, so we got these. This, actually, with the really dark hex, way easier to read, uh, funny enough. Except I feel the red on black not the most noticeable. 
Um, just or, uh, compared to like the yellow there, right? As somebody who uses both in my thumbnails, uh, I have a white background for a reason, <laughs> and it's that red pretty much, and and, and like the pink, uh, the yellow. Yellow shows up great on just about anything. Yellow's fantastic, but uh, yeah, no, this is kind of cool. I dig that. It's helping you out, doing telling you different stuff. Now here we have some different um, explore, entry, eradicate, setup, special rules. It looks like this is diff different setup stuff you can do. So that's kind of cool. Looks like a lot of variety there. Yeah, objectives, special rules, and stuff. That's cool. I dig that. Then we got okay. We got Sam here. Open, close door, repair door, and repair terminal. Some robot. Good old robot there. Appreciate that. Looks to be the same on either side. And then it looks like we got not-so-friendly people, like Mr. Brixen. Um, again, I feel the red on black, not the easiest to read. I think it's okay. I can read that, but it is pretty dark. Um, this reads pretty okay. I'm fine with that. I think the blue with the white looks a little bit better than the orange with the white. Just personal opinion, but either way, there's Dr. Phipps, he's doing well. Dr. Sanders, uh, he looks like he has a headache. Slug Mammoth, was that the dude's name? He got Dr. Sanders and Slug Mammoth, that's rude. <laughs> Ripper Biter, Larva Hydra, Larva Worm, and Pod, just Pod. Uh, looks like there are two different sides, I don't necessarily see a different. Difference between the two? 48294? 48294. Yeah, I'm not sure there's much difference there. If there is, I don't see it. <laughs> okay. Now it looks like literally the rest of these are these cards, which don't look good. It looks like just different things that they can do. Larvas are gonna do that, the ripper are gonna do that, and the slugs are gonna do that. Here, they're gonna do that. And then here, only rippers and slugs, they're doing that. Otherwise, these other guys do whatever that is. I'm sure the rulebook tells you what that is. It looks like it's pretty easy to follow. Very straightforward. I kind of dig that. Let's see, we got different symbols. I don't know, like, like, why is this die symbol here when it's on every single one? Like, does that actually mean anything? Or is that just, like, to, to make it look different, I guess? I don't know. So it does look like there is a bit of a, a curve in these cards, right? So, in other words, when I line them up like this, they're all curved that way, right? But when I flip some... Now, that curve is flipped that way. So, now some are curving this way, and some are curving this way, and it creates that gap. So, there is a little bit of a, a little bit of that here um, on these cards. I'm going to go ahead and put them face down that way, and pretend that gravity is going to fix it. Okay, well, it looks like we do got some spots here for tokens. I also noticed some under these, but we'll get, yeah, see, all kinds of different spots there. I dig the storage, I think that's cool. Here are some map tiles. Not very many, just three here. Let me zoom out a little bit while we're looking at the, the big stuff here, of course. There we go. Get that out of the way. But this is what I was talking about where like, I feel like it's actually more colorful than I think they're laying on. There's dark spots for sure, but it, there's lots of like, you know, bright blues and purples and reds and stuff like that and in yellows. Um, the one thing I will say is I feel this doesn't look super cohesive in other words i feel like they very much made each square its own thing now there is a little bit of bleed over see how this blue kind of goes over this uh this line here the grid right but at the same time making each room like three by three seems you know kind of you know the the same repetitious i guess and and there are things that do very like like this perfectly stops there now it doesn't here Right and doesn't and but on these two sides it's very much no blood and then blood on this side right and then that kind of leads to a feeling like that. Additionally, I don't really see clear doors. I'm assuming this could be a doorway, but maybe not. I don't know, or maybe just add them in there. But it seems to be like just a a, a, a square room uh, made into a grid. You know, everything is is nice and straight. There's not really a lot of curves here. There's a little bit of like line curves, but all the architecture right is up down left right uh it's a for you know some of the alien growth stuff perhaps breaks that a little bit and i think those are the, the highlights when it comes to that anyway i think for a whole like you know corporate you know dystopian it works um but it, it is something i i kind of tend to feel okay so this is a little bit different and maybe the other ones had it and it's just less noticeable uh different shapes to the rooms right so this is all one bit there right this is one bit here 
So in that case, oh yeah, see, same here. So I mean, I'm, I'm a little bit more okay with that, uh, but I do tend to think a lot of these, especially when they have walls, maybe that's it. Maybe it's just seeing the wall. And so like the playable area to me looks this big in this kind of square versus this big, right? Maybe that's it. I'm not sure. Maybe it's like the clear black lines that uh, are there. Let's see if, yep. So again, slightly bent. Uh, that's pretty normal though. Sometimes if you get it bent, it just gets more bent um, over time. So I'll, I'll monitor that, let you guys know. Okay, we do have some smaller rooms. I don't know if they're just passageways or what. I don't remember how you build a map in this game. They are all numbered. I appreciate that. Um, for the most part, I can see the shape of them all pretty good. So I think that's okay. But it is kind of interesting how, like, I feel like this is really bright. And then this gets really dim. And I'm not sure how they decide on which one to do. Um, another thing I will say is, uh, well, I guess uh, two things. So the linen finish, it's nice. I, I, I guess I appreciate it. I'm not, I know a lot of you guys love linen. I'm not big on the linen finish. I mean, it's, it's fine, I guess, but I'm, I'm okay with smooth too. I don't want it to feel tacky or cheap or anything like that, but I'm not sure linen instantly makes it feel premium either. And it does, at least in this, I feel like it gives it a little bit of a haze, right? You can kind of see the lines in it a little bit more where this almost looks like a video feed to me this almost looks like a like like an analog horror vhs style thing like there's gonna be like lines on here or whatever and i can rewind it or something like you're seeing it on a crt screen right do you, do you get that feeling from this i think part of it's the linen finish i think part of it's the art style on this at least this image in particular like i'm looking especially at this right here and it just seems not to be crisp if that makes sense like compared even to this like like the the gross here i don't know even that seems kind of fuzzy and again maybe it's a linen thing you know no i feel like it looks different like i feel like i feel like this is more crisp maybe it's just me maybe i'm oh you guys let me know what what do you think Maybe it's all kind of fuzzy, because even this seems slightly fuzzy. Maybe it's supposed to look that way, except you can walk around in it, so it's like it's all video feed. I'm not sure. Uh, either way, I mean, it looks kind of good. There's some, I mean, that's like really dark, right? There's some dark ones. I mean, yeah, I mean, dear Lord, what the heck's going on there? I don't even know. Can I walk in there? Oh, you know what? Ah, oh, see, I don't know. This, this is tripping me out. This almost looks like you're looking straight at a wall versus the floor, right? And these are standing up. Cause that would totally work if this was standing up and this is like a, a, a like a shelving unit, right? There's stuff shoved in here and you're walking to a wall. This is the, the wall ceiling floor, but I think it's supposed to be down <laughs> the perspective, man. I tell you, I do like the variety. I think there's definitely some parts that are green and some parts that are less green, <laughs> I suppose. Not the most visual variety though, I would say. All right, we do got some character cards. Let's look at those. And then we got some dice, some minis, and then we're on to expansions. Okay, so this is kind of what I meant by not always dark. I feel like the art style of the characters is kind of cartoony. And I'm for it. I, I, I dig it. I think that's awesome. I, I like the stylized version of it. So again, here you have the, the different symbols, right, that I was kind of talking about. Again, I think you can read this really well. I appreciate the, oh, this gun does that. Like, that's cool, right? Same thing here. The, her flamethrower does that. So I do dig that. Um, it looks like they're about the same height. Sometimes I like it when there's like clear height differences. Like see, like like this, except he's squatting, so that's not exactly fair. Like, yeah, it looks like they're they're all six foot tall. <laughs> I don't know, uh, but yeah, it reads really well. Again, I like the 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 colors here. I think painting them would be super cool. And then the hive mother and Doctor Blair have their own kind of kind of mean cards, and it looks like again, I don't I don't necessarily see a difference here. Just, just double-sided. Why not? Print it in duplex. All right. And then here, again, you have more. I think these are those red rings would go in there. Uh, hopefully, this is enough of a, a spot to get them out. But, you know, I, I, I guess we'll see. I guess so. It, otherwise, though, I do like how that all fits together. That seems nice. Okay. Um... Let's look at some minis. Let's go and start with these big... Oh, wait, wait. No, no, no. Kidding. <laughs> oh, look, there's more cards here. Um, Yeah, these are just... Little again spawn cards, I think, is what this is. Not too concerned about that. You guys see that? Plenty of space. I don't know why there's no well, maybe you could do you know this would solve the height thing. Maybe this does work with sleeves if you use this second spot here. 
I think that's it. I'm gonna say it is. All right, we got some cool gems here. Just uh, four uh, green cubes and a red one. You guys have seen that time and time again, so I'm not too, too focused on that. Zoom in a little bit in the small stuff, because we're gonna have minis too, so let's, 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 let's get ready for it. Let's do that. All right, here. We have a plain Yahtzee dice that uh, I hate. And then we have cooler dice that are not for Yahtzee that are awesome and board gamey and, and specifically made, and I like it. Okay, so we got a, a very odd orange. Now, I can see these, right? So I am slightly colorblind, um, but these are, are fine. Again, slightly colorblind. I can tell the difference easily. That being said, it is a weird choice for an orange. It's not very bright. Um, and he, actually, even, the, even the, the red doesn't seem very bright. It's like more yellow in it or something. I don't know. All right, so you can see there is a little bit of a imperfection right there, um, but the the paint job, especially with these skinny lines, I think it looks really, really good. I do dig that. Like this is crisp. Those lines are nice. That looks like I really dig that. They did a great job with that slight imperfection there. Um, seriously, th these are good. These are really nice. I dig that. Do any others have that spot? Oh, they do. You know what that is then? I guarantee that this spot on all of these, right, because this one has it too, is where they were connected on the plastic sprue. So there's like a little little runner and then all these like dice shapes and then it goes in here and fills up the void just like, you know, anything else. And sure enough, I bet that's what that is. I bet it's where they came off of that. That's funny that you see it. I wonder if the red one has that too. Not as clearly. So you can see all the scuff marks here, and uh, the coloration doesn't necessarily seem to be super even, but overall, I really like these, especially the paint job. I think they actually did a really good job on the painting of these. That looks great. And then, except for that, that that's 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 dumb. Plain old cool board. You know, where do these dice go? Oh, whatever, they're, they're, they're going in there for now. <laughs> that's where I put them. I don't know where they go. In a, in a bag, do I have to put... See, I don't want to put them back in a bag. I want them to have a spot. I want to. I want to unbag dice and bag dice every. Episode. Come on, guys, give me, give me a tray, give me a tray. I have to do this and then just have it like loose on. Yeah. What if I? I mean, what if I fill that up? I don't know. We'll see. We'll see. Let's look at some of these big ones because I mean they're right here, right? They're right here. Why not? Okay. Get those gems in there. Okay. All right. So. Uh, yeah, these look cool. I love the sculpted base. That's fun. I don't remember if they were sculpted back then. I imagine they were. I just didn't notice it at the time. Or I don't remember. It. It's been forever. A um, little bit of a mold line there. Not too bad. The assembly looks fairly good. Oh, there's a, little, yeah, there's a mold line there. Down across here, up here. The mold line's probably the biggest uh, issue here. Just because so many companies nowadays, I think deal with that mold line a bit better when it comes to managing it. I love these strands though, especially the gap in between them so they look nice and separate. That looks super cool. Uh, the inside of the mouth, this is sculpted, which is cool. This is, I, you could, I think you can call that sculpted, but it's kind of iffy, but I think that's all right. All the neck folds and stuff look great. All the different eyes. The teeth are clearly defined with like a gum ridge, so that's cool to see. The tentacle suction cups look pretty good. There's a mold line going right across them here. It's kind of a bummer. But other than that, hey, all these little mouths, again, sculpted inside. Teeth look good. I'm digging all the teeth. That looks great. Uh, the soft fleshy parts look good. The tentacle wrapped around the neck, particularly a fan of. That looks awesome. And it hides this assembly because this is a separate piece, I believe. Yeah, right here. Pretty good, especially with this fold. If you paint that and prime it, Nobody's going to notice. Same with this. All these separate pieces, I think they actually assembled pretty darn good. Yeah, I like this guy. He's hanging over the base. He's he's different and unique, and I like him. Here's the other big guy here. Uh, you, whew, okay, yeah. I don't, I'm not trying to find the front of him. Oh, here it is. Yeah. <laughs> so there's his face. Not, that's not, I thought that was his face. That's his face. Well, maybe that's his face now. I don't know. So you can see a little bit of a torso here. Here's his arm and hand, and that's fine. It looks like he's got a little syringe. It even has a little needle. I dig that. Again, we're keeping with the theme of these, like, snappy things. So I'm cool with that. That looks cool. Um, otherwise, his torso, you can see his legs right here with his, like, shoes even. That's hilarious. I love that. That's freaking awesome. Got, like, these, like, 
injectable things going into him that like that looks like that's what he has here. Yeah, don't let him inject you with that. His brain, he's a freaking genius. Look at his brain. Dear Lord. That is, that is, look, look at the veins on there and junk. Nasty. <laughs> oh, but then he's got like new legs here now and they're all like wrinkly. This one's all wrinkly and nasty. This one's all bulbous. Freaking gross. His big old hand here. It was like his, his fingernails look great. These are good minis. These are fun. I like that. The goggles look good. His hair looks awesome. Fingers are crisp. This mouth here is disgusting coming out of his like uh, shoulder. I mean, why not? Yeah, gnarly. Pretty cool. And again, sculpted base. I'm cool with that. Um, yeah, that's awesome. Okay. So again, these trays have tape and they're the devil. Um, otherwise, pretty good. Um, I like, oh, I hate that tape. It never comes off my fingers. Okay, so with this lid, um, obviously they're not snapping, which I do appreciate. But that also means that they can jostle around a little bit in there. This one goes right up to the edge on here, which is kind of nice. So it can just kind of back up a little bit. This one has a little bit of an extra space, I feel. Often they'll do an indentation, kind of the opposite of like this wording here, right? Indent it in to kind of keep minis in place. Overall though, I think you can paint that fine. It's not gonna bother anything. All right, so now I'm looking for tape here because dear Lord, if they tape one more thing, I swear. Really nice open there and lock lid. Do you see how like, it's not, it's like not naturally coming off. That's great. And again, that's this indentation right here, right? That, that That's what this is. And that's a pretty hefty indentation too. That's not too bad. It's like anytime you lift on one, the other one's gonna like curve into it, see? So that just curved in and then it pops out. Very nice, that, that, that's a good lid. I like that. And I, I, again, no indentation, but these don't have a lot of room to move especially because the base of each one, at least on here, is like, like there's not a lot of movement there. Maybe it's locked in though, we'll, we'll find out, because that is not a lot of movement at all for no indentation. Uh, they are not locked in, so that's good. I dig it, okay. All right, let's start with the uh, aliens and end on the characters, because I think the aliens will go pretty quick, because for the most part, they're just like twisted, nasty things. <laughs> okay, um, I love the design of this one, I can tell you right now. I love the fact that it has like legs, that it's just sitting on two little arms that are now legs. I love slash hate this like disgusting little tentacle junk coming out, especially the one that's pooping out the back. That's disgusting. I love the little fins he has on there. Again, the beak face, uh, you know, fitting with everything else, same kind of teeth and all that. I dig that. Um, yeah, that that's a disgusting guy and I'm all, I'm all here for it. Uh, the, the base, again, sculpted which is nice. Okay, we got these guys here. Um, again, same kind of tentacle thing, so I don't think quite as gross on this one. I'm actually much more okay with this one. Uh, except for maybe the like pustules it has here. That's kind of disgusting. And then it has like bee cans as well, I suppose. So there's that. Lots of tentacles and like a, a, like, like, like a, a nasty skin wrap thing. Ugh, ugh. These things are disgusting. You get quite a few of these, by the way. There's a lot of repeats on these. Okay, this guy. Um, I would have... Okay, so again, sculpted base, great. And I think they look cool. And I think for what they did, this is nice. It's very much purposely flat, right? And I think it looks a little artificial to me. Like it would be much more if like this guy was coming out this side and this guy was snaking around up front. And you know what I'm saying? Like if there was more of a 3D element to it versus super flat on the... On, the, on a plane like that. But that means that they can sculpt it all in one piece instead of like five. So I understand the the, the savings there, um, but I, I, it does hurt the overall look, I feel, something like this. That being said, all the texture here looks freaking sweet. I don't even really notice a mold line or anything like that. So if it is, it's incorporated into the design pretty okay. Plus they have some numbers too, so you can tell what many you're, you're missing or need help with, which is kind of nice. Are they all, is that just a six? Yeah, they're all gonna be that. So you're like, oh, I need another six because this one's jacked up or whatever. You can do that. All right, a little bit bigger guys here. I love that he's leaning down into the right light. That's so awesome. And way over his base. That's nice. I dig that. Um, I, I really like the squat look he's got and then leaning down and then with this arm like thing like wrapped around here first of all it's disgusting that it's like so attached to him like that's just weird Ugh, that it's like gripping his back like that but it also makes it look like he's like 
his shoulders down a little bit, so he's really leaning into it in kind of a funny way. I like his tentacles seeming to be like feelers, right? Like it seems like it has a purpose, right? As opposed to like the one that's pooping him. Um, so that's kind of cool. I dig that. The ribs look nice. The assembly was a really good job. This leg is separate from the body, but it ended up really good. I think the the ridge here helps hide that a lot, and it was indented in, so very smart there. A little bit of a mold line, uh, but nothing too bad. Um, that looks pretty good. Yeah, this is, I mean, it, it, this is all gross. I would say, uh, yeah, I don't know. Like, like, I'm not sure exactly about this tentacle here. It looks like it's supposed to be part of this one here. But then, it like, this one looks like it ends here, and then I don't know where this is. I don't know. It's all gross. That's what it is. I love it. <laughs> trying to make too much sense out of it. All right, let's look at some of the characters. And then we're done with the core box, guys. Not too bad. Jeez, calm down. Okay, yeah, uh, these guys look cool. Again, I love the, the base. I love the pose. Um, I love how separate the head is from the... Uh, let me zoom in even a little bit more for you guys here. There you go. That's good enough. That's good enough. I really appreciate how the head is separate from the hood so much here. That looks very nice. All the layers of the clothing look really good. The gas mask and even this uh, this little hose here, nice and textured. Uh, his hand in the gun looks good. And the gun is actually quite well sculpted here. It looks like a, a, a wrapped pipes and everything. So it's all perfect. The canister is freaking sweet. I uh, love the strap on, on that. That looks cool. Uh, the backpack here looks good. Again, this arm is separate too, but again, it, I think it's assembled very well. I think it fits perfectly. This is solid here, but I think uh, that's hardly noticeable on this mini, just from the angle that you're looking at it, so that's kind of nice. Yeah, he's cool. I like him a lot. All right, next up we have this lady. Again, uh, I love, I don't even know what she's holding here. I didn't quite catch it, but it's cool that she's like holding like a, a like a, 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 they're just like hanging out each way. Uh, I think that's kind of cool. Her goggles look freaking awesome. Love it. Hair sculpted nice. I dig that. It's got some texture in it and all that. This is slightly bent perhaps, but overall, okay. It's not ABS or anything like that. It does have a really strong connection point, which I think helps. The boots are cool. I dig the boots as well. It looks like the exact same base as the other guy. Uh, so nothing unique, I guess, about the base. It would have been kind of cool to see. See something a little bit more unique on each one, but I understand if not. Come on, come on out. Okay, yep, again, same base here. Again, love the canister tank. Uh, there is a little bit of a pore spout on this one, but that, that's actually, looks like that'll be okay. And again, assembly here, really, really good. I think that works out quite well. I love the, like, pipe flamethrower weapons they have. Again, the hair looks great. The headphones look awesome. The face looks good. The dog tag, really cool to see that. It's a little thick, but that's okay. I think it makes sense for that. Knee pads look awesome. The laces... Yeah, this this again, the details are good. I like these. These are cool minis. Okay, looks like we then have the little robot here, Sam, I think it was. Love it. I love the big old wires and then the, the little claw it's got there and it's the little wheeled base that it has. That's super fun. Yeah, that's cool. I dig that. It's even got its like eye or what you're gonna feel like it, its eye, right? And then we have one final character here. A little bit of a tighter fit. He's a little bit larger. <laughs> That's probably why. Love the, uh, the, the, like, almost looks like makeshift. Like, this was a door, but now it's a shield. The only thing that's weird about that, I need to find his art. Hold on one moment. The only thing I find weird about that is the size of it, but it does look like a, you know, some kind of, like, you know, door. Oh, hold, please. I, I, I gotta confirm. Is that a door? All right, hold on. I don't know if it's supposed to be or not. It kind of looks like an escape door, like for like a uh, an airplane kind of thing, right? Because um, it does have what it looks to be like a handle, right, that you would open it with, and then the light here. But I don't know who's going to fit through that. Not this guy, that's for sure. Um, love his like melee weapon here that again looks super makeshift. Really do that. He's got two smaller canisters instead of one big one. I dig that. Um, I don't know if these are supposed to be barrels or not. But they do look very flat. So if they are barrels, they need to be drilled in a little bit. But that's okay. I do that with my Warhammer minis all the time. 
Uh, again, with the mask, it looks cool. The face looks great. He's got like wrinkles on his forehead. He's smoking what looks like a cigar. He's got a goatee. Like the detail level on these guys are actually really awesome. And I love how small their base is compared to the mini. I think that's cool too. And that is it for the core box. Not too shabby. Uh, yeah, that's, that's all of them. So let's go ahead box this up super quick, super easy, super easy. I didn't even put this back in right. I've already messed up. <laughs> super duper easy, right? So much so that I'm messing up. But I mean, you can see how quick this actually goes in there. That's not too bad. I dig that. Sometimes I have to do this off camera, guys, because it's like, I'm not going to pick this up today. I'm going to do that later. But trust my kids, I don't want my kids to do it. <laughs> All right, put that in there. Slap those babies on. Boosh, just like. Versatile, just like that. Boom, 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 boom. There, done. Cool. Next one. Okay. Zoom out a little bit. Boop, boop, boop. There we go. Probably enough. Uh, let's go to look at the third instar expansion. Again, these will go a lot quicker, I feel. I feel. Come on. Maybe I, maybe shoot, I can't even open the stupid thing up. Why isn't it coming up on this side? There we go. Dear Lord. <laughs> okay, rule book. Fairly skinny. Still has a round summary. And a few missions is pretty much all that is. It says rule book, but it's really a mission book by the looks of it. Is there any rules in this? Uh, a few things on the tokens. But that's like, like oh, hey, 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 you shall not pass. Look at that, Gandalf. <laughs> okay. So, one complaint. A lot of times companies... <laughs> a lot of times companies do this. And I get that it works in theory when this is wrapped and you're shipping it. But afterwards, I would appreciate all storage to be underneath the lid not above the lid it just it ends up being i feel more secure if it's inside the lid have this raise up a little bit and put this in here versus having it loose outside of the lid i'm not going to go ahead and take these off but as you can see it's just new areas to explore that look eerily similar to the previous areas that you explored okay now we do have probably some tape somewhere because yeah wh why 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 you're in a box what's going to happen it says you're gonna get stuck in my finger. Now I'm gonna to have to like try and get this off. Ugh. 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 Okay. Got it off. Oh, oh, try not to bend the card. Okay. This card's loose. I'm just, like, where's this even supposed to be? I thought they just shoved it in there. There's not really a spot for it. Is this? Is it? Is it? Is it supposed to be there? <laughs> Figure out a place for this. <laughs> Okay, yeah, anyway, that's there. So again, new uh, attack cards for the Slug Medusa. And uh, more spawn things. Looks like more spot for tokens and whatnot. More uh, more spawn things here. More items to get and stuff. Super cool. Look at that. It looks like there's actually quite a bit of storage. Unless you want to store that. <laughs> All right, let's look at some minis. Looks like we got four different sculpts here. So nothing too bad. Yeah, I'm going to show it to you like this guy. So you just got to squint. Hold on. Okay, all right, Boop. and oh, oh, got it. Okay, again, I appreciate how much is going over the base on these minis. I do like that. Uh, this looks to be a different uh, base, perhaps. It looks like there's a lot of overgrowth on it. Again, these pustule hanging sack things are disgusting, and I'm here for it. Uh, this uh, top part looks really cool. It almost reminds me of like a, a manta ray or something like that, right? Like a stingray. Uh, very cool. I don't know what this is coming up here. These like spikes or oh, it looks like it's like almost part of like a skeleton structure or something. Hmm, interesting. Those are like the larva or whatever. And then you got the the bigger guys here that uh, I love. <laughs> Four tiny legs. I love it. That's fantastic. And then a normal sized arms and then these gigantic like tentacle beaks, <laughs> which is just a fun word. Uh, love the big main mouth here. And again, it's all sculpted and it looks nice in there. Again, still keeping a little bit of that kind of pustule looking kind of stuff. And they grew a tail. The assembly's pretty good. I'm pretty okay with that. And again, no egregious mold lines or anything. There's a little tiny bit I noticed here, but nothing too major. And again, the assembly on these arms and stuff, 
Very nice. Okay. And then we got slightly bigger here. Now we've gotten the tentacle stuff, this time coming out of the eyes. Very thick tentacles here. Uh, we still have a little bit of that, uh, that like skin casing here that goes all the way into the nasty trunk of a of a tail beak thing. Again, this is all gross. Um, and now he has like really defined ribs. And then, oh, the tail thing comes from like the, the front too. And then it has like these really kind of like interesting textured arms and stuff. They're like, and like, they're like worms, they're like intest, like earthworms, like segmented. Weird. What a weird alien. I dig it. And then we have Shelly. I remember Shelly. I thought the name was always funny. There she is here. Again, appreciate the base here. Uh, though it does, interesting enough. Okay, so that's actually pretty, pretty powerful. And I imagine it's the glue job that did that. So this is ABS. They didn't do PVC on this because it's so large and they want it to stay pretty flat. It's why it's slightly shiny there. Do you see how it's like shining? And notice you don't get that on this. It's because this is PVC. This is ABS. And ABS is a lot more rigid, nicer, more expensive plastic. And a lot of times big bases like that definitely need it. That being said, it, it almost still seems to be slightly off. But I think that's more to do with this than anything. I do see perhaps a little bit of a, of a dip in there just based off the reflection. Kind of hard to tell. Um, if one of these is not quite the same thickness or what, I don't know, but enough of that. Uh, the, the base looks good. I do do that though. It does seem to me that they're just taking the same one and enlarging it. So like if you come like, I don't know if you can see on this thing or not, but the grid, yeah, see like the problem is, is you see how fine the, the hash marks are here compared to here, it's the same hash marks, it's just shrunken down here and it's large here, which makes it seem like separate hashes. Now, there's nothing wrong with having that, right? But it does make it seem like they're not super cohesive, right? So again, on this one, I can't hold it like that. You have this like super fine hash, hash mark. Hopefully you can see that in the camera, okay? And then in this one, again, it's nicely detailed, but it's also super enlarged, so it looks like a very different thing. Love the texture that is all over like the, the carapace here. It's all armored and stuff like that. And hopefully that's reflected in the uh, in the game as well. The mouth here looks super cool. The claws right outside the mouth look cool. Uh, I like how stubby it is. And it's like super like squat. And then I like how this big thing is like coming out of its back. Just super unique and different. And I love it. I love the separation texture they did here. That's disgusting. Super cool. <laughs> Awesome. Okay, that's that expansion. Boom. One more down. All right. Let's do the other big expansion. And then we'll move on to like the Brood Queen and stuff, which sound fun. This is the Syndicate's Sleeper. Take a look at that. So again, we got a rule book here. This is actually a little bit thicker, but I think still a lot of its missions. It looks like some of it is betrayer mode, right? And then, it, you know, then it's, you know, missions and stuff like that. But a, but a few new things. Okay, again, same setup here. We got that here. Um, and then it looks like we got some more stuff in the middle. But let me deal with this stupid... Wait, where's the tape? Hello? <laughs> Maybe? Did they not tape that one? If so, not very well. <laughs> okay. Get in there. Okay, we got one new die, a blue die. Get, get in here. Let's take a look at that. I love the color of the blue. Um, again, I think blue and white would have shown up more. Blue and black, especially this darker blue, not the best of showing up. I think it's okay, but the contrast could have been upped a little bit, I feel. Again, um, the, the die themselves, though, the paint, which is the key part there, done very well. Especially with black, often you'll see a little bit where I feel like you should have done more. The, the, these, the paint jobs on these, some of the best I've seen. Like, no joke, that's actually pretty good. Okay, looks like we do got some cards. Again, more of these kind of cards. It's time for the crawler bore and, you know, whoever else is in there. And we got a nice stack of new, like, abilities and stuff by the looks of it. And then new spawn cards and, and whatnot there as well. And then, looks like some storage for some stuff there. Take a quick look at the boss and characters. I believe there's more multiple. All 
All right, throw that on the ground. Okay, yeah, so we got two here. So we got uh, Jasper Jackson here. He's awesome. I love that his belly's hanging out. I, I'm, I'm excited to look at the mini. I love people with different body types in these games. And then we got Akira Gozen. And again, love the like whip that he's made out of like a, a wire cord and stuff. I love the makeshift weapons. I think that's super cool. That's just awesome. And then we got the behemoth here looking, looking gnarly. Okay, look at some minis. It's hard to tell what the small ones are. I think, yeah, this is definitely the smallest. <laughs> okay, uh, so again, I think this looks so much better than the one that's like super flat on one side. Like this, I think looks good. And they still managed to make it kind of like that, but I think it, they hide it a lot better, especially with the wider base. Um, yeah, that looks cool. I dig it. I like the little spikes um, on the sides and back that these guys have. Okay, then we got this one. Again, we got kind of the bulbous... Uh, abdomen here or whatever this is thorax i don't know whatever but one of the cool things about this i like is it looks like a, a wasp nest does it not you know like the where they spin it out of like paper and it's like a, a a cone like that or like a circle like that super cool again tentacles coming out love the shared themes all these guys have there's even some on the very bottom here and that's disgusting and i don't like it um and then of course the 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 skinny little crab like legs it's got going on there why not Okay, then we got the slightly bigger one here. Again, the uh, shared themes, I like it. So we got the tentacles, we got the nasty, sacky, pustule junk, we got rib kind of stuff. Again, love these shared themes. The texture inside of this mouth opening flap thing, super cool. Still has the four legs, I dig that. They're a little bit thicker now. And uh, yeah, I like the disproportionate part that it gets. So like it's skinnier here and then it gets fatter again. And that kind of bucks your expectation of how things would normally operate. Which I think is cool. Okay, here is Jasper Jackson, and yeah, he looks awesome. Who, I mean, you know, of course, he's got all the canisters here. Again, his glasses look super cool. His hair with a little bun looks awesome. Love his love his collar here. Belly hanging out. Knee pad. Um, it looks like he does have a axe here, but the axe is really crappy. So, like, this is the picture of the axe. Looks like a normal axe. And then this is what they give the poor man. What the heck happened to the axe? Look at this thing. That's what? What? It's not even an axe. It's like a hammer now. <laughs> That's probably the, the the most egregious thing I've seen so far. Which is saying a lot. The minis are typically really good. That's a little lackluster for an axe. That's all I'm saying. I think they got confused on it. <laughs> what would you want? Um, the back of this uh, guitar, I think could have used some love too it just seems very flat very straight no texture at all right compared to the front that has like all the stuff in it of course i love that he's looking up and to the right i think that's cool too not not many people are doing that got one more the other hero and then the behemoth okay again love the whip thing that's going on there i do dig that um he's supposed to on his weapon look it all look like two blades to me that were quite separated and then just like tied together. But maybe not. Uh, at least I know, at least here. At least I know here. I do see the wrapping, but they are like pretty much the same. There's almost no difference. There's a little line there. So it looks like some gigantic blade he found. Um, and then this sinks in perhaps a little too much for my taste. It doesn't seem quite natural that it would like cinch in the middle like that. Um, which is what it kind of seems to do there. The layers all look good. Muscle definitions is good. Um, again, uh, hair is pretty good. I think on the back right here, it looks a little iffy on what's going on. Overall, very cool. Look at the behemoth. And then we just got two small expansions. Come on, dear Lord. Ugh, okay, got it out. <laughs> Oh man, yeah, well this thing is super big, for sure. So again, it's got that blown up base that looks nice, um, and I dig it, but it does have the larger hexes, which, you know, fine, whatever. Um, it does, it's very connected to the base, so that's for sure. Uh, I love, again, the like armored outside part that this one has now, that's super cool. The pooper here, disgusting, not okay. That's like a cat or something, that's gross. Love the little hands here. Uh, flat to it there. I think that's kind of cool. These opening holes to it, again, disgusting, and I don't appreciate it. 
Um, the little little eyeball pustule stuff there, again, gross and disgusting. Uh, the opening fleshy bits, again, gross and disgusting. The texture bit here, look, all of this is, is gnarly. But again, I do like these armor bits. It kind of reminds me of that other one um, that, that I showed from the last one. Um, the, the, the pose, perhaps not the best with the hands. Looks like he's like roaring or something, like, rah, you know, like a typical Godzilla thing. But I'm not sure he has a mouth. Maybe he does. I don't know. Maybe this whole thing's a mouth. It just like envelops you. It's disgusting either way, and I'm all for it. I think that's cool. All right, so that is the major expansions. Let's take a look at the two smaller ones. Now, the small one here says Brood Queen, which sounds pretty cool. So I think I'm going to wait on that and look at this, which I think are the stretch goals. So maybe I should look at the... Yeah, now we'll look at the stretch goals first. So again, this is what... And, and yeah, see, and again, we got like that. Like, I don't know what, what, what what's up with this, huh? Um, normally this would be a normal cardboard box like this, right? But they painted it, and I appreciate the black. Okay. Tape anywhere? Maybe, maybe, maybe. Nope, no tape. Why they taped some and others? I don't know, whatever. Okay, so we do get some more, like, behavior cards and stuff like that. We also have some smaller cards here. Looks like another robot. This is all like the stretch goals, if I remember correctly. So here we got Robbie the robot. Very cool to see Robbie. <laughs> it looks very different. And then we have the Mar, which is a very almost well, lackluster look to it. And it looks very photoshopped on, but overall pretty cool. And then Robbie. Robbie's awesome. I like I like his little wheelbase he's got going on there. This I'm gonna have to cut open. Sorry for the delay, not my fault. It would have been nice to have these as like an easy open kind of thing, right? I feel, I feel that would have been the case. All right, come on, come on. There we go. And finally, bloop. All right, well, very, very bent. Um, <laughs> I can tell you that right now, but let's go ahead and take a look at them. Uh, looks like these zoom out a little. Uh, I mean, I can barely fit that in screen, but I'm afraid I'm going to get out of, out of focus for you guys, if nothing else. Here's Andromeda, this like robot person. That's freaking sweet. We got Tatiana Ivanova. Um, very, very cool. Looks like she's about to like do a beat down there. That's freaking sweet. We got Doc Black. Love it. Love it. These are great. Uh, Pedro Gonzalez. <laughs> Whoa, he's got a freaking sweet weapon. We got Zake Dalton. Okay, yeah, that's a cool little hover thing he's got here. Della, just Della, wearing like her, her hot pants or something there. I don't know what the heck's going on there. Uh, Otto Schultz. And then we got Brith, not Birth, Brith, Goliath, and a climber. So, with that, let's take a oh, tear lord. This is like so bent. Because there's like no support here for it, I think, is the problem. Either way. Let's look at those Mars first, because they're like super tiny. Oh, and see, now I've got to zoom in again. All right. Yeah, these guys look super cool. I dig it. They take up almost the whole base, which I think is perfect. I really like the height on the, uh, the different uh, like teeth things. Except this one seems oddly larger. But other than that... Looks super cool. I love all the layers too. That's that's nice. Uh, let's go and look at the the like crawler guy here. Oh my gosh! Come on. If I can get him out. So some of these guys are like just really hard to. Uh, I think I think that's a lock in there. That felt like it. My goodness. Okay, so again, I love how different this is. That's my main appreciation of this, is how different it is than the other ones. Uh, he just looks so unique and different. I love the interaction with the terrain. Um, he's got his ABS uh, shiny base here that's really good. Uh, the terrain itself looks cool, and it's just a cool, cool concept. I like that. That's a fun one. Ugh. Oh, I feel go back in. All right, then we got this bad boy here. Uh, again, with the arms like up, he's roaring. They like to roar a lot. That's okay. I love the leg up though, though too. That's fun. It is all textured below, so that's cool. And again, it's got that really hard 
um, like carapace that it's, you know, it's, it's gonna, uh, it even has like horns. It's kind of interesting. Either way, it should be pretty defensive. Looks pretty cool. And still using those kind of like four legs theme going on there. It's, that's so prevalent for them. Gives them a nice feel to them. They seem kind of unique, right? Next up, we got this guy. I think this was Goliath here. Again, he's looking pretty big. Got all these different tentacle things. A whole host of them coming out of his back there. Um, otherwise, he, again, he's got these openings that are just disgusting. I do not like them. Or out, or out of them are coming these like weird tentacle things. Again, it's all gross. Again, we're doing the art. This is something I feel their sculptors like to do, apparently. Where they put their arms out and then just like open them up like, ah, you know. Um, which is fine, but it is something I'm, I'm seeing over and over again on them. Again, these pustules are disgusting. Their ears. Oh, look at the ears. I love his big ears. That's cool. It almost looks like a troll, right? It's got like his huge mouth open here too, like that, with the tusks coming out. Very cool. I like this one. Uh, one of my favorites, actually. That's pretty neat. I dig that. Okay, we got two of these little canisters. That's fun. I dig that. Not much to tell about them, except that they're cool. <laughs> See, we got the, the robot here. Again, love the wheels on it. I think that's cool. Uh, probably could have been maybe slightly bigger, but no, I mean, I think it's all right. I think it's cool. I like it. I like it. It's like, you know, like, oh, I want to go. <laughs> okay, here's like the disgusting guy that you've seen a few times. Uh, reversed, so I think normally it's looking this way. Right, not supposed to on the left, but that's okay. Either way, I love seeing him all torn up and like, you know, that foot is now this like nasty tentacle thing and his head's popped out here and he's all freaking out. His arm is, his hand is still here, hanging out from the, uh, just, just gross, <laughs> gross. Here's the other guy who's blossomed by the looks of it. There's not really a face anywhere that I see anymore. It's all just, uh, uh, his body and just bloop, he bloomed. Um, looks gross. That is that is not a plant you want to mess with. Okay, uh, this guy again had had better days. Um, his whole torso now is that. It looks like there's like entrails and stuff still in here. It's just gross and or a tentacle coming out of his wrist there and stuff. Just all that's nasty. It almost looks like there should have been a head here. <laughs> Like, attached, but I don't think so. It just almost looks like it. All right, rest we have our characters. Let's go and take a look. Love her hair. That's fun. Um, the sword is bent, so I'll have to bend that back. Um, it's okay. It's a little thick, perhaps, but overall pretty okay. Um, and I do like the overall pose that she has here. I like the skinny, longer tanks there. That's really cool. Um, yeah, that's, that's a fun one. I love the backwards blade. That just... That screams awesome, right? This is the doc here. I love his open gasp face. His big old gun there looks cool too. Um, and tiny little canisters. <laughs> I think those are almost like grenades. But again, his face uh, sells it for me. That's that's just fun. <laughs> okay. Uh, here's Andromeda, the the like robot lady. Super cool. It's unfortunate that um this is not like sculpted. I wish this would have been sculpted. Other than that, I think this looks great. She's got her hand. She's got her, like, hair stuff going on there. Face came out okay. Again, that hair stuff is really cool. It's a cool pose in general, one you don't see very often, even for, like, humanoids with guns uh, as a pose. That's actually pretty cool. All right, next up we got uh, Ivanova here. He's going to beat you down. Huge tank on the back. Love that. Obviously, assembly is always really good. I'm going to drop the mini now. Uh, love the hat. Very, very stereotypical. Uh, again, the knee pads look great. Oh, I don't know what this is. They're like dominoes hanging out of her of her belt there, but I dig that. And again, I just love the overall pose. She's like, you know, grabbing the, the uh, little part there. I don't know what that's called. All right, we got Mr. Jumper Cables here. I don't know what the heck's he going to do. He's got a huge freaking backpack, though. Dear Lord, he's been hiking by the looks of it. Uh, I dig that. Uh, this seems a little weird to me. And sometimes I see this happen where it almost seems like it's like it goes up and then like this doesn't quite seem like a human leg. Does that make sense? I think it's just this part here and then in. It almost looks like there's a second joint here. I know it's not the case, but I, I, I see that sometimes and it, you know, see, again, there's that little lump there. It throws me off every time. 
Otherwise, the face looks good. Uh, I love the coat like a lot, though. There is some roughness there. Do you see that? That roughness is kind of interesting. I don't know. Get a little bit closer, maybe. Do you, there you go. Yeah, yeah, do you see that? That's not me that did that. It's a little... I mean, I'm fine with it. The little textures never hurt nobody. Actually, that's okay. All right. Uh, this one looks like Revolver also. I have gained weight. Uh, I blame the mustache. Love the face. Love that this is deta not attached. It's separate. The briefcase here. Um, I love that this tube like goes into here. Like that's where the main unit kind of part is. Um, again, the weapon's super cool. It looks like there was some assembly glue on the outside, but that's all right. Uh, the hair is attached to the the, the collar, in perhaps a slightly weird way. And you gotta have that single knee pad. It's super important. It's part of the look. One more on this. That's right. The 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 the, the person wearing the or riding the little ball thing, super unique and different. I really appreciate it. Love the little little helper arm thing going on there as they're they're piloting it with a joystick and they have two different screens as they select to do different things and they got like an ammo box here or something like that. Um, I don't see a weapon unless this is a weapon, in which case I love it. <laughs> I dig it. Oh, that's cool. That's cool. All right. One other thing, the Bird Queen, and we are done. Again, I'm not gonna bore you guys, but I hate these tuck boxes. They just, they're just, so, they're so terrible. I mean, look, this is not a fun experience at all to try and open this, to try and like get this to, no part of this, yeah, no, is, is enjoyable. I hate tuck boxes so much. Yeah, nice. <laughs> oh, look at that. I like the little, the little, uh, little booklet you get there. That's fun. And then, Shoot, okay. And you get their card there all bent up. Nice. <laughs> you get their cards here. Again, you've seen these before. That is one of the most bent cards I think I've ever had in my entire life. And you know what it wouldn't have happened? If it wasn't in a tuck box shoved underneath like that. That's how, that's how you get that. But let's look at the mini itself, right? That's what we're here for. Uh, yeah, it's cool. I dig it. I like the leg here. Look at that. The little legs on there. Freaking sweet. That's awesome. Um, again, ABS here. Uh, this is not attached, and, I, and it looks like it was, but it, it got like busted off. You see that? So that it was attached. So I'll have to glue that up. So when I got it, I think it's supposed to be like, yeah, okay, no, that, that's how it was, all angled up. Uh, is, is that how it's supposed to be with all this space underneath here? I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. Um, but either way, I'll glue that back on. Yeah, this is cool. Again, love the like wrinkles everywhere. That's a unique thing. The really lower back claws remind me of those lower back wings you get sometimes on like some demons and stuff. Um, the fact that it's walking on the side of this is very interesting too. And that's got all the little ones here. Um, again, these wrinkles are disgusting. And then even the texture over the skin, everything gross. The face is disgusting. Everything about this is gross. And I am a fan of it. Uh, definitely want to kill that thing. Guys! That is Neomorphosis. Let me know your thoughts. Again, very indie effort here. Um, almost against all odds, right? I was able to kind of kind of do this, um, which is pretty cool, I think, that they were able to, to deliver. And I'm excited to play it. It does seem kind of unique. I don't know if it's any good or not. We'll find out. If you have played it, what are your thoughts? I'd love to know in the comments below. But that's it for today. Guys, thank you so much. I hope you have a great rest of your day. Take care. Bye, guys.